So what's up guys, we are at the Keystone booth and I just spoke to a gentleman who highlighted this new system that should be available in the near future on Keystone RVs. So this in-control system essentially has sensors on the axles and the pin to let you know specifically how much weight you're loading into the front and the rear of your fifth wheel toy hauler. So for instance, when you put an ATV, a quad or something in the back, of course it's gonna reduce some of the hitch weight off of the pin and this system lets you see specifically how much weight you have in the back as well as how much weight you have in the pin and what percentage of that weight's being transferred to the truck. So probably the single coolest piece of RV technology I've seen so far is this new Activate system that Keystone's going to be offering. This allows you to take full control of airbags that are independently placed on each side as well as the front. We can walk around here to the front to see it. And you can, using the onboard air compressor, raise and lower the suspension of this coach from the back as well as the front to improve your approach angle if you're going to have any of your toys that need to crawl onto the back. Plus, it's going to give you much better suspension articulation side to side without putting all the stress that you normally might see with traditional RV suspension. So we are still at the Keystone booth. I'm sure you've never seen a Passport with full body paint on it, but apparently that is something that they might be able to offer in the future on their more entry line. Now, I'm gonna walk in here and I wanna show you something super cool. So typically on a travel trailer this short, you run into seating areas, especially when it comes to the dinette and the booth area, because this travel trailer is not very long. So you look at this area here, and it's great if you're gonna be watching TV. Unfortunately, if you wanna be eating, you don't have a lot of room until you remove this pillow, and this is on a hinge, and now you have a much larger dinette. That is very cool. So, whenever you're done eating and you wanna watch TV, you just flip this back, throw this pillow in place, and now you have a nice little sectional. Very cool design. So check this thing out. This is a Springdale Rugged Terrain. This is a stick and tin, wood frame, aluminum side. They've done all sorts of really cool things to this coach. They've added speakers and power stations to the rails on the awning. They flipped the axles. They put knobby tires on it. It is completely solar prepped with a solar panel that feeds into it. Has a bike rack on the front and back. But check out the inside of this coach. So this is kind of a concept. They want to know do people like coaches like this? Small coaches, lightweight, that can be taken out just about anywhere, but with relatively high-end amenities as far as what the cushions look like, what the trimmings look like. It has a pillow top mattress, backlighting, really nice cabinets, TV, nicer, thicker pads on the bunkhouse, as well as a nice upgraded bathroom, stainless steel basin. You know, this is a really cool unit. And again, the challenge is, how do you build a unit like this to where people justify paying the price? So MSRP on a coach like this, they're anticipating base price without all the upgrades, about 15. With all the upgrades, knobby tires, the solar panel package, all that stuff, about 20 grand. Small unit, but it's nicely equipped. What are your thoughts? Especially because it has a little bunkhouse. What's going on guys so let's take a quick look at this voltage it has full body paint i love the flat matted look that lays over it but this has a really cool interior floor plan so what i like about it is if you look at the seating area it's very rear living roomish seating so you have a sofa theater seat sofa plus theater seats here but what's nice is that it faces the actual tv and that's something that's generally pretty rare in a toy hauler I like the kitchen layout, lots of countertop space. That's also something that's relatively rare in a toy hauler. What's also nice is the amount of pantry space that you have in this unit. So this is a really nice floor plan. Typically, I'm kind of critical of toy haulers because they don't give you a very good living room area. You kind of sacrifice that because of the overall layout. But this one, they've executed very well on. Going into the back of this coach, you can see that it is set up with a nice garage. The floor is nice and rubber coated. Has a heck of a stereo system back here. TV's mounted up high. Plus, of course, it has its drop down bunk up there, as well as your beds here or your chairs that turn into a bed. You can put a table in between them. 
coming over here, you still retain your loft. So a lot of people don't realize that on many of these toy haulers, you get this nice loft that protrudes out above the garage area. Has a nice kitchen, nice backsplash. And this is the 4185 voltage. Really nice. I love the dark look of this coach. This is crazy. Take a look at this travel trailer. This is a Grand Lodge Wildwood. Huge, huge travel trailer. Step up. It's got a loft over here. It's got beds over here. This is simply a massive, massive trailer. Definitely something you set and leave where you put it.